welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing Ayaka's newest best of This Is Me Ayaka 10th Anniversary Best. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is simply my opinion on the best stuff. We'll have different thoughts on it and I would gladly read yours in the comment section down below. Ayaka is back this year and after her last studio album, it's time to celebrate 10 years of music career with a best of. When it comes to best ofs, I get very picky. The content has to be excellent and worth the sometimes elevated price and the addition of new songs is something that I deem necessary. After all, you are technically, as a fan, mostly paying for things you already have. This best of does succeed in some of those requirements. For example, it has lovely visuals, two new songs and some that are are not that well known. The tracklist, however, I wasn't too much of a fan of because in both CD1 and CD2 we have 9 out of 13 songs from the last album Rainbow Road, which is understandable considering that the album didn't sell as much as it was expected back then, but still, none songs is bullshit. This leaves us with the rest of the best of that tries to give some songs from other albums some light, but being overwhelmed by Rainbow Road so much, it's hard to really see Anika's career throughout this best of. To celebrate 10 years of her music, it should have had a more retrospective eye on her career. And yet, no matter how good Rainbow Road is, the fact that the album barely came out a year ago is bothering me more than it should. Don't get me wrong, I've always enjoyed Anika's music quite a lot. She's one of my favorite singers in Japan. But this best of screams the need for financial support more than anything. Ayaka did have a really successful song back in 2014, but being in Independent now shows some restraints, and if physical sales expectations are not met, it's on her. No matter how good the material she makes is, which is why I understand the need for best stuff and the use of the 10th anniversary as an excuse for cashing some money in, but I wish the best stuff had been more sorted out and less about the new stuff which we know too well. A year isn't enough to feel nostalgia at this point. When it comes to the new songs, there are typical Ayaka, which is good, Ambition, and This Is Me being what you would expect of her. And now Nothing challenging, but Ayaka sings from the heart and it's lovely. Still, I would have liked a bit more than two songs and some re-recorded version of old hits to add some collecting value to this best of. In the end, this is a best of that leaves more of a sour taste than any. Ayaka doesn't have anything to prove anymore, but the gimmick is a bit paradoxical and as the nostalgia effect expected simply doesn't work. I give the best of two stars. Thank you for watching, don't forget to tell me what you think of this best stuff down below and I'll see you next time.